All right, so you know you don't need to worry about those cold temperatures for a few more days <laughs> because <laughs> uh, it, yeah, you know it's going to be chilly this weekend. I, I don't know. Can we say it's going to be cold? Or can we just say it's chilly? Because it's think, you know it's, it's up to the individual. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, anything under like 60 is cold to me. But <laughs> a beautiful afternoon yesterday, and I, yeah. we have that for the next two days. We will see a warming trend in the afternoons, okay. but I don't want to mislead folks because out there right now it's really getting chilly. We've got some mid 30s on the map, and that means potentially we can start to see some pretty widespread frost developing, and that will continue at least until daybreak today, which isn't until about 7:30 in the morning. So these numbers will continue to fall. Here in downtown Indy, we're at 47, but everywhere outside of downtown, we have seen that cooling trend. We're down to 36 now in Zionsville. It's 36 in Greenfield, 37 up in Newcastle, and 39 in Rushville. So once we start to see the upper to mid 30s, that's when that widespread frost is going to be a possibility here. So out at the bus stops this morning, certainly layer the kids up uh, here in the city. We will fall back through the 40s around 41 for a low temperature, but obviously there's already some spots that are cooler than that. So a frosty chilly start to the day, but as we get into the afternoon, we will see some improvements with our temperatures. Yesterday we had a high of around 70. Today we're going to be back in the low 70s, so pretty close to where we should be at this point in the season. 71 is our average, so that's where we'll be for high temperatures today. And then heading into the evening tonight, sunset around 723. We're going to keep those clear skies rolling as we fall out of the 70s and back into the 60s. Here's the deal with tomorrow. Temperatures are actually going to start to warm as we have a sector of warmer air that's going to move in from the west. We see a change in our wind direction from the north out of the southwest eventually tomorrow. And that's going to help us out, pump in some slightly warmer air. We're going to see a few more clouds developing during the latter part of the day as well. So 46 in the morning, we're back into the mid 70s for highs on Wednesday. And uh, things are going to change up here after that. So let's walk you through the timeline. There's that clear start to the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine and through the course of the day. Daytime highs there in the mid 70s. Clouds will increase as we get into our Wednesday night. This is in advance of a cold front that we've been talking about, but it's going to be a series of cold fronts that come through, and that's what's going to be the game changer for our temperatures looking ahead. With this front, we could see a few stray rain showers during the overnight and then during the first part of the day on Thursday, but this is not going to be that uh, quick temperature change just yet. I'm still anticipating temperatures to get back into the mid 70s on Thursday afternoon before we see that really big drop in temperatures. This is taking us into Friday and then eventually into Saturday as this pool of some much cooler air comes in behind that secondary cold front, settles in, drops temps in a drastic way heading into the weekend. So we're going to go from 76 on Thursday down to 59 for a high on Friday. And it looks like again on Saturday, most of us are not going to get out of the 50s. So preparing for those big changes. Overnight lows widespread in the 30s this weekend as well as we slowly trend back upward into the low 70s to start next week.